finally top four. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna do this right now because I just realized that like I kind of want to finish all these. He was in every room before I actually go to fight them because in um, most cases they give me a bigger reward if I observe or rather pull out the map. More money, if you will. Search the chest. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Thank you for doing damage to me. I am very glad I came this way now. I managed to duke you that time. But not this time. Oh, just kidding. I duked you again. More money. I don't care. I want the treasure chest that has the golden idol in it. Great. I've got the two dolls after me. Which means they're both gonna sit down. Oh, oh, what's the boss doing here? Oh, okay, thanks. This is a new one. I don't I don't ever remember a boss just suddenly walking into a room. A random room. I wonder if it's because I went into the boss room already that he's doing this. Or if this is a possibility that could have always occurred. And I just haven't run into it yet. That's okay, we're gonna, gonna put this down here and that hopefully should solve the problem unless the boss is unaffected by this. Yep, oh, yep, took a arrow to my brain. One bunny slipper later. eat my hamburger if I wanted. I'm not gonna do that right now because I believe a hamburger gives me five or something. Yeah, it does look like it took care of the boss. He's not around anymore. It is not around anymore. Okay. Yep. Yep. Those were originally uh, treasure chest a moment ago and now they are not. Game's a little buggy. Just a little bit. By a little bit, I mean every time I try to, uh, what do you call it, uh, mash through the dialogue when we get into the ghost boss room, it keeps freezing on me. I have to keep resetting the console because sandwich, pick up the sandwich. Um, I have to keep resetting it because. Buki won't let me go any farther than his first line of dialogue because I think the game's trying to I think it the way with I'm mashing the button I think it's thinking that I'm already through the dialogue but at the same time the dialogue box isn't down yet so it's also saying no you have to do the dialogue but you're already through the dialogue creating sort of a loop that can't be ever fulfilled because neither, um, neither, what's it called, um, has been fulfilled. Command, I guess, would be the word I want to use. Dead. Oh yo 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 yo! Been sneezing all day today, and that means I'm either I'm either got it's literally dusty at my workplace, or I'm coming down with something. I don't know which it is. I'm hoping I'm not coming down with anything because sometimes that's just the way shit goes for me. With cold, is I will. If anyone who actually watches all of my videos have already heard the depths by which Chris gets sick every time. But um, basically I get a, like I either get a runny nose or I, or I get some sort of stuffed up note, okay? And then from there it usually goes from the nose to the back of my nasal cavity. From the nasal cavity to the throat from the throat either into my ear 
Um, if I'm if I'm laying sort of flattish as I sleep on my side, it seems to get in one of my ear canals, back you know ear canals, or it'll go into my lungs and I'll get coughed. And then from there, it usually goes some some amount of you know nasal to sore throat to cough to sore throat or some variation thereof and then eventually I'll get to the point where I'm blowing just the most disgusting tissue filled snot rag you can imagine because at that point I'm completely over it or I'm 90 some odd percent over the sickness and now it's my body just ejecting all of the disease back out of my body because it's basically said well we know what we know what the solution to the problem is so all we need to do is make more solutions so the problem goes away because I went to a wedding I may have picked it up from one of a million people well not a million people but one of about 400 people that were at this wedding maybe it wasn't 400 it was definitely over 100 people less but we'll say we'll say about 150 people a nice round number of people so it could have been anybody obviously you know Someone getting over a cold, someone who's just coming down with a cold, didn't know they had one, you know, could have been a caterer, the nature of, nature of sicknesses, you don't really know where they come from, and when you're really worried, not to bring COVID back up, but when you're really worried about spreading a highly contagious, highly deadly uh, flu virus or something like that, you know, there's there's only a couple options. One, try to prevent the spread of the disease. Two, you get rid of the disease. Or three, you just let it play its you gotta let it play its course. That means that one in every three people dies, then so be it. Does that mean you know, does that mean that if you have long term side effects from you know catching COVID? or whatever, whatever, you know, well, so be it. Too bad. I don't care. The nature of the world we live in. And fucking... The, it, the, the whataboutism just drives me up a wall because, you know, COVID wasn't as deadly as they predicted. So, well, every, they blew it out of proportion. If COVID had been almost as deadly as Spanish flu, and say one in three people had died. Um, I'm sure people would have been like, "Well, why didn't why didn't the government do more to protect us?" I don't I don't know, honey. You're the same you're the same people that, that say you don't want the government involved in anything, and then you get angry when they're not doing enough. Gotta grab the white one, Chris, not the other ones. The white one's the one that works. That one. See? He's got a bar and he doesn't immediately explode into darkness. I don't want the gray one. I want you. But, we're not done yet. Got a couple more to go. Doing great. I'm gonna have to eat them waffles now. Fine. I need, obviously need him to go through the blue door. Which he has not done yet. Oh, and those doors hurt me. Great. Just great.
That should be it. He's gonna go in the blue door now. And we move on to phase three. Not sure why a award medal is super effective against him for whatever. Oh, that's not the right guy. Okay. Be on the lookout for a guy in white. Like this guy right here. Oh, yep, he's not right either. Alright, well, we'll have to keep an eye out for a guy in white that looks more like the guy that we should be doing. Probably has to have all of the stuff. Not just be in white, but also have like a gold crown, maybe. Sort of checking all these guys at random. Uh, none of these guys, they're not white. Sorry. I don't have a white veil over them. Hamburger in case I need it. None of these guys are attacking me, which is good. We're just playing hide and seek at this point. That guy is blue. He's not right. That looks like the right guy, right? Yeah! Alright, we did it. And looks like I gotta throw the last item at him. Oop. Where's the A prompt? Good. Sandwich here real quick. Got to throw the last thing at him, but the A prompt's not here. And he's doing lots of physical damage to me. All right, we got the last basement key. Great. Oh. Door leads to where Zachary's locked away. Use the lantern's power to open it. All right, let's do it. Thing. I think I'm a friend short here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely a friend short here. Not sure why you spawn me here if I'm a friend short. Let to be quick, the magic mansion is almost gone. My lantern power is running low, though. We don't have enough magic. Ah! Oh, my fat friends. My other friends all decided that they would rather take a nap. We ran out of magic and died. It means I gotta go get my last friend. Let's go get our last friend. Doogie's all like, lantern power is not enough to open up the door. Hopefully with all of your friends, and hint, hint, nudge, nudge, and Zachary, I believe is your uncle, should be able to do this. But first, let's power up. Even though I'm pretty sure beating that uh, ghost gave me 0.0, .0 power up. I mean, gems that is. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I will eventually do this, but probably off camera. Collect enough gems to fix the rest of this entryway. I don't know if that affects the other rooms or not. I haven't really been paying attention well enough to see if, like, when I upgraded the armor, if that also upgraded the way stuff looks in the uh, gauntlet that I've gone into. Yeah, I forgot to drop off the Atari game I picked up for him, so let me do that now. Hello, sir. Yours revenge, something, something. Go get me more cartridges. I'm a big nerd with pants pulled up to my navel and, and a big tie and freckles, red hair and glasses. What a rude piece of shit. Be happy to know, viewers, that I have neither red hair nor freckles, nor do I wear my pants above my navel, nor do I normally wear a shirt and tie, nor do I play 2600 games or think they're good. Of course, I'm not going to tell you if you like Atari 2600 games that you have no taste. As I would say, 
each their own. I like Nintendo NES games. I think they're okay. That's an okay place to start. Other people would be like, nah, that shit's un unplayable. Them games are too, uh, what's the word? Uh, too old. They're too primitive. There's the word. Too primitive to play. Nobody should play them games. Too primitive. Okay. Yeah, as soon as I get caught by the first guy, like, of course, I'm looking on the ground for, you know, little blue bloppers. Dear Spam Man, fuck you. Didn't shit. Hey, did you know that Donald Trump is God? No, I don't care. Well, we could save you 15 minutes by saving on insurance. No. Fuck you. Now, usually they're... The scam calls are usually like... Hello there. My name is Reginald from the IRS. You owe me taxes. I sit there when they call me like this and scratch my brain. Scratch at least my head. And go, but I do my taxes every year. I physically know how much I owe you every year. And I physically receive money back from you every year. So how the fuck would I have any back tax if you've given me a refund every year? Well, you did your taxes wrong. Now, you would have called me if I did my taxes wrong. Because one time I, I, had, I was like short. I ended up not taking a deduction that I was allowed to take. And the IRS sent it back to me because they didn't give me enough money already. Like, okay. You do realize, like, the difference between what I got and what you... What I originally had and what, what you ultimately gave me was, like, 20 bucks. I don't know. I mean, it was worth it on the one hand, you know, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, but... On the other hand, like... You could have kept that money, invested in, in cryptocurrency, and made lots of money, and then lots, 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 lots of money because crypto is not a very stable investment thing right now. Doesn't seem to be anything I need to do in this one other than go to the next door. That's okay. I decided I don't care. I'm just gonna kill these guys anyway. Answer me this question. You are in a haunted house. There are a bunch of doors. Then, like, you go in one of the doors and it says, Burn all the ghost chains with your lantern. Be like, who the hell's talking to me? Like, shut the hell up. There are snakes down here. I don't care. And ghosts. And goblins, maybe. And goblins. By the way, we will not be playing ghosts and goblins on this fucking game. Or bulls and ghosts. Anytime soon. That game is wicked hard. At least the first portion of the game is wicked hard. After that, it's just sort of like... Okay, fine, you got past the, the graveyard level that we put too, too many enemies in, causing wicked slowdown. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that anymore, but we are going to make the rest of these levels super challenging. And you're going to have to memorize some of this shit because you're in, I don't care how good you are at this game, you're, you're going to learn. One of the... One of the great things, the great, uh, I don't know, talking points about video games. Should a video game, a difficult, does a difficult video game require memorization? Or should you, if you're a great video game player, should you be able to pick up any video game and be really good at it regardless? I mean, I understand there's probably a bit of learning to do. Because you're not going to pick up a Mario game and then pick up a... 
you know a brand new Zelda game and have the same experience because they're asking for two different skill sets but you know if you play the question is if you play Dark Souls 1 really well should you be able to pick up Dark Souls 3 and be as good of it good as would you be skilled enough as a Dark Souls 1 player to transfer those skills into Dark Souls 2 and 3? Or is it just a matter of memorizing the boss patterns more than anything? And in a lot of cases, the latter tends to be true because particularly with the more interesting bosses, the more difficult or the farther we've gotten into it, the more likely you are to run into... What do they call that? Uh... Gauges. Or your bot... You're not... You're not just, um... Um... You're not just fighting the boss. You're, fight, you're fighting sta phases of the boss. So... Like, it's not a matter of figuring out, well, what does this boss do? What is his timings? It's like... Okay, what's his timings in the first half of his health? Bar. And then how does that change in terms of speed, defense, attack, different types of attacks, etc. as you progress through the fight, you know? There's a lot of, there's a lot of that, and I, I don't mind it when you're doing sort of like a rival battle, like, you know, you know you're fighting another human type opponent and you start out and you're fighting him or her and she attacks you with say six attacks okay and cycles between them and then when you get to half health now they change up their either the way they attack you the speed they attack you add some new moves change weapons that sort of thing But nothing, nothing you you've done prior to that get prior to that point can per necessarily prepare you for it, other than, okay, once once phase two kick in, you know, and you can you can look at their health and go, well, are, is they're gonna is they they're gonna they're gonna proc this at half health? Are you gonna defeat them? And then you're then you're gonna see here comes you know health bar number two just suddenly pop up, and then down from the heavens comes like. You know an angel or something or a, you know a fucking blessed sword just shoots from the you know like like fucking power rangers just shoots out of this guy and they pick it up and all of a sudden their move set completely changes i want my mommy uh oh please don't tell anyone i said that uh, i would be totally embarrassed embarrassed you found out if i liked my mommy I'm a cool teenager. Cool teenagers don't like their mummies. They like their... They don't like anybody, in fact. They, they hate everybody. Except, except for bitches. They love bitches. They love some bitches. And they love helping out their team. Being super awesome. Like that. You want to be awesome. You want people to like you. That's what you want to do as a teenager. Being loving your mom's cool, then so be it. But guess what? Being dependent on anyone's uncool, dumb, and gay. Anywho, rescue our friend, and we'll cut the episode here. Come back. Probably use Fred. He's a 90s esque 90s ass name and uh we'll try to beat the game in the next uh, episode so till then hope you guys all have a good one